Hello and welcome to ScrapbookingStation.com. I've been kind of piecing together this graduation page. And so I've got envelopes. I've got pyramash on my photo. I've got gold embellishments. And I'm going to tear apart some of these invites and tickets that you get and use them as embellishments on my page. Anyway, it's typically more than one page. In my case, I think I'll get done with four. So I'm going to put the camera over my shoulder. We're going to take a look at what I'm talking about. Okay, so like I said, I've been piecing this together. This is the Pyramage photograph. I've got a uh, video out there on that. And these are my homemade envelopes. And I've also got a video out there on that. So I've got tickets. And this is the pieces left of an invite, which actually I wouldn't even pay for. But from this, actually from the tickets, I took these two circles. So anything that you can use to embellish. And of course these two pages and the invite actually had this on the back. So I'm going to use that as a tag. Anyway, what I'm keeping in mind is what I'm going to do on the companion page. Because we did a lot while we were in Pittsburgh. And oh, let me talk about this. Because these are... Uh, this is the collection. It is from Spellbinders. Uh, this is Nestabilities. And this is Resplendent Rectangles. And I love them for scrap because they're huge. So anyway, I use these two. And it wasn't easy. I mean, that's computer journaled. And I did a couple attempts on car stuff until I got it right to fit inside here. So I can get all that done, all this done. And then we're going to talk about the companion page because um, if you've been paying attention, I've got my matted pendant uh, with congrats, grad, graduate, congrats, graduate, and that's what I'm going to use on my companion page. And then right along here, when I printed out the uh, base photo, I made a frame with two lines of frame, and these are dazzles. And I don't typically send these out because I hoard them to myself. And then we got plenty more for corners, and so I'm going to use some of those as well. Anyway, let me get this one done, and then I'm going to work on the companion page. Okay, so last we left off with my finished uh, first page, the primary page. So I've got all my tickets, uh, pieces of my invites, all in nice envelopes. Of course, the Pyramage photo of my daughter graduating with her little tassel. And then the plate, which with her honors and whatever. So, now i got to do the companion page. And I know I've got at least uh, two other photos to go. And so the first thing I'm going to do, and I alluded to this, but if you watch my matted pennants and border, uh, pennants and banners, banners, uh, video. Uh, I created this for this page, so I'm going to have that coming across the front. I'm going to have this here. I've got a couple more photos. I've gleaned a couple more embellishments out of the program. So this is the list of graduates, and of course I'm highlighting my daughter. Um, I got yet another seal from the University of Pittsburgh, so I've done that. And what I'm going to do now is I pretty much got it situated how I want it. So I've attached everything that I can attach because I want the base page to be free. And I'm going to tell you why here in a second. So these two things are put together. This is totally separate embellishment. This whole thing has been put together. And I actually don't need to do anything with this right now other than mark it. So what I'm going to do at this point is because I am going to do something really interesting. It's a graduation page, so you should pull out all the stops. That's the first thing I'm going to say. But right in here, I'm going to put a journaling embellishment because I've got something to say about this. So anyway, the first thing I'm going to do is I've got my um, punch pad from Stamping Up, and this goes with the templates. And I've got the punch tool, and I'm going to put this underneath my scrapbook page and mark my edges because in here I'm going to put this crisscross thing going on. 
And how I'm going to do that with it, with one of my um, product picks for this month is the scoring board from Stamping Up. And this is one of those few products that you can get that is 12 by 12 scrapbook friendly. So let me punch some holes and then I will show you the back because I'm going to turn over my base page and then mark it. Okay, so now I know where my journaling is going to be and all I've done is scored back and forth in right angles. Actually, I glued that down. I don't even care. Across here. And so I'm going to take a brayer. I'm going to flip this over. And now I'm going to ink this. I'm going to be really careful about it. And I'll be back with that finished piece. Okay, so after I got done braying, actually I had no idea this whole braying thing would get so out of hand. But as soon as I ran over this, I was off onto my scrapbook page. Okay, so I'm going to make the mess, best of it. So I still know that my journaling is going to be this. So now what I'm going to do is make the same crosshatch a little bit smaller onto the navy, uh, not, what is it, knight of navy cardstock. So that I have at least this much space with white cardstock to embellish. And I'm just going to be just a little bit more careful. And I'm going to see how this all turned out. Okay, I'm backpedaling just a little bit, but I've placed all my elements other than the banner back on my page, and I still know the size of the piece that I want for my journaling. So all I've done now is cut a piece like this, and I want it to be inside of my rough edges. So once again, I'm kind of going to mark where I want these things to go, and then turn it upside down on my scoreboard. So I'll be back, and I'm going to gold ink it, of course. And then we'll take a look at what that looks like. Okay, so I finished uh, my gold overlay, and once again, I just used my scoreboard to do this crisscross pattern over this. And, let me see, I still don't know what size journaling I want in here. And actually, it's not, I mean, it's impressioned because I just did this last score line, but I think what I'm going to do is cut this out and then make this a mat over my journaling. So anyway, that's going to be like that. All these photo images are going to be like this. I'm going to have the banner across here, and I'm going to leave you with my companion page. So anyway, I hope you took something with you that you can use in your own scrapbooking. Like I said, graduation is a special event. You ought to make it a special page.